Hey, welcome back to the Hightail Podcast. How did you like that intro? Uh, we got an intro now. <laughs> we got I an remember. intro now. I remember to play it. I'm, gonna, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. Yeah, so... Thanks, that, everybody, who reminded me to play it. That animation was from Kazarov. So go check yes. him out on, on Twitter, mostly. I know he has a Reddit, a Discord. I don't know how, if he wants to be reached on those. He definitely has a Twitter. Go check him out. We'll put him in the description. Uh, show some love. Yes, and the audio out. was made by Slamma. So we'll also put yep. her uh, Twitter down in the description. Follow them both. Both amazing people in the community. Doing a lot of great fan art. Slamma made uh, the channel art that you're probably very familiar with now. Yep. And now this beautiful intro music. Kazarov has done fan art between uh, the two of us before podcast fan art. And now this intro which is incredible so man thank we're, you so we're, much are we a professional podcast now we have an intro we have a like a six second theme like it, it's kind of crazy i really do the only thing we're missing for a professional podcast now is three sponsor breaks in the middle of it yep we need manscape to pull up we need well, i wasn't gonna VPN i wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna <laughs> name any brands i was gonna we need every podcast not give them free advertisement but you know hey, it's okay, all right it's fine all, it's all right it's all right we're not making any money uh, neither are they, and neither are they from us. Haha. <laughs> so, Speaking of not making any money, you can change that by hitting that subscribe button. We are a hundred subscribers away from making money off this videos. That is right. Let's what go. Are, we, are we at? Are we at nine hundred exactly? We've reached yeah, nine hundred. Last episode, we put out a call to action. Yes, we did. For people to subscribe to the channel. Nine oh one. We would shout out our nine hundredth subscriber. Who was and that? And there was someone in the comments that said, "I'm subscriber number nine hundred." Hell yeah. And it was like 8.95. I'm oh. going to call you out. Actually, no, because I'm giving you a shout out if I do. So I'm going to be honest. Hey, mine. I'm going to be honest. I get YouTube notifications when we get subscribers. So um, someone one day ago subscribed. That's 9.01. But, but four days ago, this is the second most recent subscriber. Steve the Adventurer. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not good at math or anything, but I believe this is Mr. 900. Steve the Adventurer. Congratulations, I'll Steve. believe it. I'll believe it. Thank you, Steve the Adventurer, for being 900. Now, hopefully you can that's be accurate. <laughs> 902. Who wants to be number 902? You'll get a special shout out next episode. That's yeah, a you really get, special number. <laughs> you get diddly squat. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, no, uh, I just checked the official stats. It is Steve the Adventurer. Unless you have a private account, then it won't show you, obviously. But hey, for this, Steve that the Adventurer. That is awesome. What a that stud. That is awesome. And he's got. Well, that's a, a real. Cool high tail fan number 900 this but number a... 902 can be you so if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and do that hit that and make sure your your uh subscriptions are public so we can actually check you out. and well, imagine yeah a thousand. that's true we, a we can't check crazy. your your subscription count if your subscriptions are pi private so yeah Whoopsies. so it might not be steve but if in this case scenario it's steve the adventurer in this scenario yeah, i guess steve minecraft steve adventure the, the high tail number yeah steve adventure the high tail congrats steve uh, what are mine, we doing so, at 1,000? What are we doing at 1,000 subs? What should we do? Leave a comment down below. What that's should we a good, do for that, a That's a good subs. idea. Because I don't have anything. I don't think you have anything. But if Nothing the comment planned. section has a good idea for what we do for 1,000 subscribers, we might just do it. And yeah, we, we get should, a shout out. We, imagine like we send some people Hightail merch that we clearly don't have. That's uh, it's crazy. A good, that's a good segue, isn't it? Mine, we got a package from Hypixel Studios. We got a package. We both got but a package. we're not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> we can't talk about it yet. We are not I can, to talk I can about show it. you now. I was going to say I can show you the package, but like this is not a high tail package. It's another package. Um, yeah, I could show yeah. you like a box of. Yeah, and this else. is and this is a Tim Hortons roll up the rim cup. Like, yeah, there you go. That's my high tail package. But yes, we did get a package from High Pixel Studios. Yeah, um, we have a we gentleman's agreement. We cannot talk about the <laughs> the contents inside of it, but you will find out very soon. I can't give you an exact date. Yeah, you'll see it on Twitter probably from everybody else. And then when I get off work, you'll see mine after everybody else because I'll be delayed. But Schedule mine will be the there. Tweet. I should. Schedule tweet to 12 exactly on the day we're allowed to. On the day post we're, it. we're allowed to post it. Yeah. yeah. But I know it's teasing. No, nothing I know, crazy. I, yeah. I, I know probably that like, it's a beta. It's teasing. not a beta. Well, <laughs> it's not a we beta. We can't say that. We can't say that. No, we can't. It's not a beta. It is we, not we a beta. We are under NDA. So legally, we have to say it's not a beta. But yes. Wait, are we under? <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Wink. There you go. Blink three um, times if Buddha is off cam holding a gun to your head. I don't actually, I don't actually. think we we should say, we're, I don't think we can say that. 
No, I don't think so. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> we're going to move on to viewer questions because there's no high tail news. John hasn't tweeted since March. John 19. has not tweeted. Buddha has not tweeted. That's about it. Um, we're Noxie. lonely. Yeah, we are lonely. For, we're starved from high tail news. Like it is, it is dry. We're in the middle of a desert right now, and there's like the only thing available is like Dasani water, which is just deadly. I yeah. wouldn't even drink that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so mine. Let's get on some but viewer we, questions. We have not done a viewer question, like a specific viewer question pod in a very long time. So I'm very excited. If you want to ask us viewer questions to be asked on the pod, we're kind of running out, but we also haven't done it in a while. So it's like yeah, a good ask balance. Ask more Join the Discord. I have a feeling we're not going to get Hytale news in a, in a while. And if it's just ask Hytale, we're going to have 10 minutes to talk about and then more viewer questions. So <laughs> most active Hytale Discord, that is a proven fact. It is. I Down in the description, the Hightail Podcast Discord, there's a channel you can ask us questions or you can just talk about uh, Hightail with other fans and completely ignore us. That also works. So, yeah, they do that a lot. Yep. Yeah. Chris, also I got an update. I only have two glasses of water instead of three on my desk. Dude, I have zero. I forgot to pour myself water, so I'm going to be uh, dry throated right now throughout this pot. But I have coffee from this morning, so to <laughs> worst comes to worst. <laughs> worst comes to worst. Okay, let's get into some high tail. Ooh, yes. I saw, okay, so you know how like uh, last episode there was a question for Mark, I see, or yeah, sorry, leaked my name. Uh, question for mine. <laughs> uh, there's a question for Chris coming up, but before that, huh? what kind of games would you like to see made using high tail from the crispy acorn? Racing examples. games. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's, I'm gonna read some examples. Elden <laughs> Ring, Souls-like, straight up Minecraft, CS:GO, Balloons Tower Defense. Ooh, I, I would. Love, uh, I'll, I love going to that example. What's your favorite Balloons to Tower Defense? Tower. Um, six. I'm a, really, I like five. I'm a big five guy. I love five, but I mean six is they just did so much with it. Yeah, there's a lot. Blows it out of the water. Are you? What's what's the one you go head to head? Is that battles? I think that one's fun too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Balloons TD, TD battle. battles. So much that fun. That was fun too. That was fun back in high school. But yeah, a tower defense game in Hytale would be super cool. I mean, we've seen in the trailer the top-down mechanics, Ooh. so we know the top-down is possible. Yeah. I've, played, I've personally played tower defense games in Minecraft. I don't know if you they have. They suck. No, no, they suck. Yeah. Because you did, did Hypixel have its own version of Hypixel? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double check that. I swear they, they did. Have. I think they did. I, I think it was bad. Defense. I'm pretty sure I know. They did. I know something like the Hive. I think had oh maybe that's a tower what I was defense of. game. Um, Cubecraft was it? Cubecraft. Oh, Cubecraft. Yeah, that was it. That just seems like such a server to have a tower defense game. But they were also the original like kind of Bed Wars, Egg Wars. Yeah, they had they had server. Egg Wars and then Egg Wars was. Console. I played Egg Wars. I didn't play Bed, bed Wars. Now, I, I, dude, Egg Wars was so much Wars better. Phase. I was um, an OG Egg Wars player before it was same. cool to play Bed Wars or Egg Wars. And so maybe I would we, always play on that. Maybe we faced uh, off against each other and we didn't even know we back might have, We might have. I was kind of nasty at it. I was kind of nasty at the, the Cubecraft Hunger Games. So then I'm like, ooh, I Egg Wars, what is this? Player, but I was Egg Wars, Wars I was big into. But yeah, I, was, I loved Egg Wars. It was fun. But yeah, a Minecraft tower defense games suck. Yeah. So I'm really excited for the Hytale tower defense mm -hmm. a tower defense game because i i mean i love tower so defense what, what would you do you would just grab like instead of a monkey right it would be like a quebec or a chork or yeah you know, i mean an upgraded version of them you could use the ip in of high oh it's gonna be so cool mobs. super so very you, you'd know? have your you'd have your seedling you'd have your tree singer you'd have your quebec warrior you have all of those as upgrades upgrade to razor leaf what would be super monkey like gaia or something super, super monkey super monkey that's a good power. question Maybe it's just super Quebec, and they throw a cape on a Quebec, you know? Oh, that'd be dope as heck. That'd be so cute. I think there's some potential. Some Someone with more coding experience than me. Write this down. It will be a popular <laughs> server if you make it. I will play your server if I don't I make it. I will too. I yeah. guarantee you. That'd I will at server. least dedicate a stream or a video to Hytale Tower Defense. If yeah, it's good. It if it sucks, I will call you yeah, up, yeah, but. yeah but like then then someone else will make it you, someone's gonna make it good yeah Just, and then someone's gonna someone copy will. your server and make it better and we'll all play on that one so. yeah and then you'll have no players <laughs> yeah <laughs> you'll have no clue uh, but um, yeah tower, i mean tower defense is the thing that's you said racing fun. yeah um turbo kart racers going back to high pixel sucks like a terrible game mode um fun fun in theory but it sucks i want to make a server probably with like f1 tracks probably high tail one 
High tail uh, H1, uh, you know, um, sounds fun. Obviously, uh, the Formula One license copyrights literally everything possible. Um, so you have to change things up a little bit, just a, just a bit. But it's possible, you know. Um, and they don't they don't give out licenses uh, very or ever. So do you know if the tr like track shapes are copywritten? Too? Yes, they are. There's a lot of like games like just. For example, like a game called Motorsport Manager, they have like tracks called Bahrain where they race or like USA, and it's similar to the track that they have. But they're altered. It's a little bit different. Gotcha. And then they'd have a red car, you know, for Ferrari, but it's not yeah. going to be called Ferrari. It'll be called like Ferrari or something, something dumb like that. So. I mean, if they can get away with it, you can too. In, exactly. In Absolutely. A, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you get it around copyright. But Roblox does have a partnership with some f1 team so i don't know yeah i've, I've seen McL like there's mclarens in it they did like they actually did a car launch in real life but then they also had one in roblox at one point too which that's was very awesome. interesting i thought that's that was awesome mm -hmm. imagine the ferrari x hightail uh launch <laughs> i would i would partner with that and then and heartbeat. then you could get a jersey <laughs> that has the hightail logo and the ferrari logo right next oh to my it. high pixel studios if you want to just sponsor scuderia ferrari please go ahead that or is, Riot, Riot Games, I know Riot for Games. a fact you're going to buy that, wear it, and never take it off. I would never. You are never, sleeping not with it, you are showering with it, you are working <laughs> with it. Yeah. like You are doing I, everything with it. We're going to do our hot tub stream in that. Like, it's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, you yeah. are never or, taking that well, off if it exists. A lot of, like, technology companies do partner with Formula One teams because, you know, technology and stuff. AMD was a huge partner with Ferrari back in the day. So, why can't Hypixel Studios go. or Riot Games, you know? Just there you go. Riot Games is red. Oh, it's perfect. I'm just it's saying. Per, it's, uh, I'm just saying. Oh my god, you're genius. All so, right, let's let's read the getting, rest of this getting, question. Yeah, getting yeah. getting back on track. Uh, some another example mentioned was CS:GO, and I don't know if you played the Mindplex. What is the CS:GO copy called? Um, I played that so much. Oh, was Mind... it like that Super Smash Bros. game in my in Mindplex? No, Mindplex CS:GO. Mind Strike. No, I never played, played it. The shit out of Mind Strike. I played the uh, Super so, Smash Bros. game version of... Yeah, I played that like too. That. that was so much uh, fun. So I hope there's going to be really good FPSs. I mean, we've already seen that there are gun models. Yeah. I know that, for example, Blockshot, if that's ever still going to exist, hey, 30 says it will. Don't count them out. Um, hey, we're voice actors, dude. <laughs> we are voice actors. We're voice actors. We're... I mean, is the Discord still... You, you oh, know, absolutely. Thing? Did we get kicked from the dev one? No, I'm still on the staff server, so... I mean, Chaos runs it, so we'll, if he kicked me out, I'll yeah, have some words Yeah, that's true, that's true. We'll just slide into Chaos DMs and be like, yeah, yeah. You know, Like, bro, bro, chip. We're giving you free advertisement right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so I know that's going more for a Fallout-style uh, game, more of a single-player, but I know there were plans for multiplayer, like Call of Duty. Which makes sense. Uh, but I can see a lot of first-person shooters, third-person shooters. Basically, every game that you know that at, like is a popular formula is probably going to have so some like sort of team deathmatch and all that stuff yeah even, but like even... had a great team deathmatch well, i thought yeah. i thought it was fun they had different yeah. classes uh they had tank assassin archer ranger whatever the hell you can tell both of us are, are mindplex guys <laughs> and not high pixel i played a lot of mindplex <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i played a lot i forced of my friend to go on uh mindplex he was like let's play some let's play some high pixel mindplex my Mind, uh, mindplex survival I, games that were now uh you know stands Hypixel. of a high pixel yeah but i mean but Hy mindplex i don't know something about it the way like you're able to swing a sword and hit somebody it was just way more satisfying than a high pixel hit i don't know what they did with their tick rate or something uh, just, i mean I, I don't know about that i played on a 20 fps laptop i don't oh, think okay. i noticed the tick rate <laughs> Uh, I noticed it on my 20 FPS laptop, so I had like the one by one texture pack and everything was maxed out. Ugliest game ever because I needed frames and stuff. Uh, yeah, and so racing uh, is one of them. Pirates, One Piece, um, like That's a ship right. simulator or whatever. Pirate simulator would be airplane a game simulator. That... Ooh, airplane simulator and high tilt would be crazy. And then what mm -hmm. my personal wish is going to be is a gambling simulator. Oh. Uh, and so <laughs> my. I, I, I'm, I'm able to joke about it right now. And so if I ever do it, you can't blame me for doing it because, I, you know, the side hey, casinos you know make I mean? a lot of money. So <laughs> just say also, I was yeah. wondering, I was thinking about this in the shower the other day. So you remember like just regular mobile games, for example, like Temple Run, Jetpack Joyride, Fruit yeah. Ninja. 
you think there'll be games that are specifically catered to the mobile version of, of Hytale that'll just really take Ooh. off there compared to PC, Xbox, PlayStation versions? That's an interesting thought. I haven't thought of that. Because I was wondering, I'm like, yeah, you could have Fruit Ninja. What are you going to do with your mouse? Or you could just do it with your, your hand in Hytale on, the, I guess, on your phone. I guess the only question about that would be... Are you able to change the controls of the mobile system right or is it going to be stuck to the the high tail controls like are you able to make it so that it's just touch sensitive in which um, case it is literally a mobile game engine yeah apart from a game engine using high tail you know what i mean mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I, but then I don't, can you make the game like portrait for temple run because that could be really cool i mean i i, sh I assume you could do that uh, also in uh, and your computer as well, you know, hit spacebar to jump, left, right, arrow keys. Yeah, but... I mean, I mean, surely you could make it portrait if you just like flip the screen. I don't think that would be too difficult. Yeah, uh, I was I just think wondering it's just the, that. the question of controls. Yeah, I mean, I, I keep. I mean, arrow keys or WASD makes sense for that type of game. I like Fruit Ninja is probably a stretch because that's kind of just swiping your screen really a bunch of times. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. That's an John, interesting thought. John like. Hendricks, hey, you know, so it's good. We, we, we need some clarification for this one, just saying. I, I don't know if we need clarification for that one. Like, that's a question we don't know about, but I think that's one we'll just have to find out. I will see when somebody who makes the game. I think, in, like, like, also in terms of, like, my priority list for what I want to know, I think being able to make Fruit Ninja in Hytale versus, like, Magic. <laughs> you know the differences no are... we'll, we'll get the fruit ninja blog before the magic <laughs> imagine uh, riot games officially partnering with fruit ninja to be an exclusive mini game in hytale fruit ninja is such a legendary game <laughs> <laughs> like i mean even subway surfer 2 which is basically the same thing i mean very similar to temple run but i mean subway surfer and hytale would be so much fun that's gonna be incredible imagine if you can somehow code just the watch videos together as friends instead of being on like a projector wall you're able to make like a mini tab what if you can make an ipad and in, hold it in your offhand and so while you're playing you can watch family guy that would be or awesome. the hightail podcast or the hightail podcast the high, yeah i mean the uh I mean, that would be awesome um are there TV, like, is there, like, a TV block in the game? You put on your TV, you watch the high podcast? I mean, podcast that, that, while that we don't know. We don't know how the the watch videos together as friends works. If you can do it in your own world, in your own, like, multiplayer thing, or if it's only in the capital in specific, like, movie theaters, and you guys invite in yourself to, like, a private movie theater lobby. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it'd be super funny if there was a TV block and you can put any YouTube video. Because I'm at, I mean, the meme potential. Oh my god, the possibilities. The meme I mean, I, I've played with a, a a small mod pack with my friends, and we had a block. It wasn't a YouTube video, but you could. It was like a painting block where you could paste oh. any Imgur link in, and oh, so it would just be awesome. any image, and it that's could be awesome. a GIF as well, and that went crazy. And so I know the <laughs> possibilities of that, but also moderation, obviously. But I yeah, mean, I was gonna say you probably need like a limit to what you can. Yeah, really Imgurlink do. probably won't be possible in Hytale. <laughs> but however, what, they what do, do the mean? watch together. They, I mean, they already have to monitor that, and I assume it'd be just the default YouTube. And if a video is age restricted, you can't watch it. Yeah, that probably makes sense. But then there's a lot of ways to kind of get through the YouTube age restriction. So. Yeah, but I mean, I guess in terms of legal problems, Hytale wouldn't have any because... Yeah, maybe there's probably going to be like a GUI or... I mean, surely thing. there's there's ways to get around that. But Yeah, something yeah. in the legal writing that says they can't get... Then started. again, I can also just like build a, build a certain body part in Hytale and that's not very age... Friendly. right you know what i mean right and just yeah so there's you can make it inappropriate at any point and so age restriction is hard especially in such a creative and sandbox game mm -hmm. uh, i mean john hendrick said you, you can provide someone the paint but you can't tell them what to paint with it right don't give That's... me paint by the way i'm really bad at painting oh, i saw, I saw him in paint in my quebec <laughs> so 
That's that's got to be like a, a sub goal. Of One million for your, subscriber for your main goal. channel. One million subs, I ruin my Quebec. Or I go. give I bring it to a professional artist. Or we fly out, well, I, not we, because I don't have one of those Quebecs, but you fly out to uh, the Hypixel office get and, get, and get the official <laughs> artist to draw it who, for you. Who is the official artist right I now? I just named a random role. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm sure someone, there's like Someone in the team art. that is good at uh, figures, because I know, I know there's a few devs that are really big into Warhammer and all yes. these like small figurines, so I'm sure one of the devs will be able to do it for you. Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll we'll, see. we'll see. I mean, a million subs is a ways away right now. But if you guys want me to ruin my limited edition one of twenty Quebec, <laughs> I'll do it. It is, it is one of twenty. It is one, one of, of twenty. It is the rarest high tail. Or how many how many high tail mugs are there from our place? Because we don't Ooh. have those. What do you mean? Oh, our place mugs. The yeah. our place um, mugs. Yeah, I don't the, know we how don't many they the... sent out for our place. I think they sent that's, out probably probably around twenty as well. We I wish I had yeah. that. I need another mug in my house. <laughs> I have so many mugs we don't need anymore. Uh, but yeah, Hytale mug's still pretty cool. You know, the little Hytale mug is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I mean, we mentioned when... in last episode about what happened to mine and why I'm not touching it. Uh, they saw it's in the intro actually. So it's there's a little animation of you almost. Um, oh yeah, yeah it is in the intro. Yeah. So it's in, it's a part of Hytale podcast history. But we're still on the one question right now. Um, Twenty minutes in, we're still on the same question. So we're really hey, good at talking. People tell us we shouldn't start a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Number um, one line. Second question of that, <laughs> of that question. <laughs> uh, right. RPG Penguin asks, we know that Hytel has weapon tiers, common, uncommon, from that one crafting screenshot. Yes. But would you predict there is a way to shift the odds of getting a rarer piece in your favor? For instance, a better furnace, getting higher tier bars, or a better crafting table? or even trinkets that improve smithing quality. For some reason, when I think of just uncommon, common, rare, legendary, or how many levels there's going to be, probably like an epic rarity at 1.2, I feel like you'd get those from like a dungeon or something. You can't really just craft something that's yeah. legendary. Yeah, I agree. I also think that just the weapons are set in stone. Or like in the crafting menu, you saw that you could craft a common or an uncommon one, right? Could you? I, I gotta pull it up. Hang on. Or is it is it the identical weapon and it's just a chance to have a rare? That's what I thought energy. it was. The like kind of what Ark does. You know, you open a loot box up and you get like a hatchet, but maybe one time it's rare, one time it's epic, one time it's common, one time it's uncommon. And they, I mean, obviously, if you move up in rarity, it has better stats, like more durability, maybe more damage. Um, but that's how I think it would be. Like you mm, raid a oh you raid a God. chore camp, you open a chest, and ooh, there you go. You have a uncommon toothy barbed club. You do another one, you find a rare toothy barbed club. You know, I think that could be pretty cool. Maybe one does more damage. Like you said, one does more durability. Um, but I think if you're crafting it, I don't see why you would just craft a legendary item. That's true. I don't think legendaries will be crafted unless you unlock a legendary recipe from a real hard dungeon. That's possible. You can get blueprints for an item, and then you got to get the the materials for it. But I don't know why it would just come as legendary. I feel like it would just be the base item of it because you're building it. You're from scratch. So I'm looking at one of the crafting. Oh yeah, I said I was going to look at that. Screenshots right now. We're and definitely looking in at the terms same in one. terms of the crafting one. Where they're crafting an iron sword, right? Yep, that's what I'm looking at. There is no rarity in crafting. It just says iron sword. So you're you're getting the default weapon, and I assume if you want rare uh, rarities, uh, you'd find them in chests. Well, also in that exact same screenshot, you see um, where number one is on the hot bar, and then right above it, where it's five and six. Those are and eight. They're all there's four of the same weapon in this mm -hmm. screenshot. One is blue. Yeah. One is green. One is yeah Def i mean default. i guess but he doesn't this this person doesn't have that weapon unlocked you see what that? do you mean because that is obviously a sword but he can't he, there's only six by the way are you showing this on on the pod so i'm looking i'm trying to at literally right now uh try to um show there are six swords unlocked but the swords unlocked are not the ones in his inventory with different rarities 
that's the wrong one. And so that leads me to believe those four in his inventory are just looted ones because he can't craft them. How how else would he get them? You know what I mean? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, why is it not capturing us? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I don't think they can be crafted. I don't think so. I think I think rarities are found in chests. Yep. And crafting is default. Mm -hmm. Unless you like level up, like you craft enough so that like you craft ten of them and boom, you get. But that wouldn't make sense either. Yeah, no, it definitely would not make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Question for Chris. We're on to your question. Ooh, yay. Do you want to guess the theme of this question? One Piece. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it was either that or F1. Yeah. <laughs> Have yeah. you seen the live action adaptation of One Piece? This is yes. a rhetorical question. Yes, I have. I have seen the live action and I liked it. Mine, have you seen it? Yes, it's very good. Yes, it is very good. Mm -hmm. That's it? If you have, oh. what are some things that you liked and what are some things you think they could have done differently? The floor is yours. All right, so I love the way they introduce characters with a little bounty flashing up on the screen. That oh, that is awesome. I love big that Big standout. Big standout. I know it's live action, so they do have to cut some things from the anime, which they did. They cut the entire Don Krieg versus the Straw Hats fight. Uh, or Don Krieg versus Luffy. Spoiler alert, that happened. Uh, and, and in the and in the uh, live action, he gets just no diffed by Mihawk, which happened, but kind of didn't happen in the anime. Very, it's kind of blurry water. Um, what was the rest of it? What I didn't like, what I did like. Uh, yeah. What What are some things you, uh, they could have done differently? That's the second um... I was I was okay with the way they did Captain Kuro, the little cat guy with the claws. I thought that was pretty cool. Not sure how I liked it inside of that mansion, but I know it's more of a cost saving thing than doing it outside with all proper lighting or whatever. Because uh, a lot of it kind of did happen outside. And the whole fight, there was a uh, hypnotizing guy who wouldn't even show up in the anime. He was really cool and he actually shows up later in the anime too, uh, who they just completely cut out. There were some things they cut out. Um, but most of it I really liked. Fight scenes were pretty cool. Uh, I, I, I really wasn't sure how they were going to do the stretchiness of Luffy, but I think they pulled it off very well. Just That's kind of a really goofy power to have, and the way they did it I think was kind of, kind of good. Um, but yeah, Season 2 I'm excited for. They're going to an island where it's very hot, so we will hopefully um, we'll see some very important characters there because there's some very, very important characters in that place. Perfect. I think I worded that well. I don't know. I could I could go on forever on One Piece. Like I'm caught up with everything, so it's like I try not to spoil it for people who haven't watched. Speaking of, well, I don't know how to transition. Never mind. Uh, crossover DLCs like Minecraft's numerous official crossover DLCs. Do you think that Hytale will have any official crossovers? It'd be a lot easier I hope probably. So. If yes, which ones would you want to see? I'd like to see Dungeons and Dragons. Pretty much any anime I would like to see just take that whole category put it there uh, i like to see some sports that's just me like f1 you know big f1 guy um i feel like they do soccer slash football for you Euro european viewers american football for the american viewers uh baseball would be cool yeah i mean sports um yeah i mean the obvious crossovers you could oh, just and, say like anything that fortnite stuff. has done i guess yeah i was gonna say movies <laughs> there's a lot of them Anything Marvel, anything DC. Yeah, yeah, and the easiest way to do that is just add official skins and cosmetics for the capital. Yeah, and then I mean that that would be the easiest way. Doing special game modes. Um, if there's a new Star Wars movie coming out, you do that a too. mini like special event Star Wars mini game. God, Star Wars would be Easy. so good in in high tail. I can just see it happening. I mean, there's already so many um, just model models of Star Wars characters already from Violet. From I think Kazarov's also done a bunch of Star Wars characters too. Um, Hawkon's made One Piece characters, so we know what they can look like in the game. Now, if an official person were to make it, that would be super cool as well too. And then if they have those, would that technically mean the the license is with Haito? So I could make a One Piece server if those skins are in the game. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I don't know works. about the copyright for that. Okay. Um, 
I'm not very familiar with how often Riot does crossovers. I'm pretty sure it's very few. Uh, I'm fairly certain Valorant has not done any. Uh, and if they have, it might be a skin bundle or two. I know they did the Zed, uh, the DJ Zed. Uh, he has an official pack. Um, League of Legends, I'm completely out of the topic. So if someone in the comments wants to help me out there. But as far as I know, they do very little. To be fair, those games also don't have the biggest possibility for these types of crossovers. I mean, I'm sure right. there's a lot of great fan ideas, but... Uh, like first thing that comes to mind like i couldn't think anything obviously valorant with skin bundles that'd be the easiest or even just league of legends giving a certain character uh, a new skin right. uh, and so in terms of crossovers we're definitely going to see riot ip inside of hightail we're going to see jet from valorant inside of the capital at some point in, cool. in hightail version we're going to see draven from league of legends inside of hightail at some point in, in hightail form uh, and so, yeah, obviously the, the League of Legends, Valorant, and all that IP will probably see its way into Hytale and some sorts of Easter eggs or official mm -hmm. collaborations. I don't know about official other IPs, uh, but I mean, we're hopeful, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm hopeful for that. I was just reading a post on why Riot Games doesn't do many. This is on the League of Legends Reddit, but just like crossovers and I don't know. I mean, this is from three years ago, so I don't know if they have done any since that. I doubt Fortnite's, it. Fortnite's done a lot since then, but yeah, it's just people were just wondering why it says uh, it seems stupid, but in games like Brawlhalla, Fortnite, Minecraft, where the universe isn't as important, um, why don't they just do crossovers more? Like, I don't know. Yeah, Brawlhalla was the other one that does so many crossovers. They've done Star Wars, they've done Halo, they've done Kung Fu Panda, they've done everything. Yeah, like uh, isn't imaginable. Minecraft? Minecraft's doing like Jurassic Park right now. Minecraft has done so many as yeah. well, uh, and so I guess that's also a thing i i think the lore of valorant i don't know if there's any lore in is there a lore i mean just league league of legends um, has a lore right league yeah. of legends has a lore as far as i know um i don't yeah. know valorant i mean it probably has a loose one but people don't really care um but with hytale it would be a lot easier because you know you just separate i mean that's already what hypixel was doing mm -hmm. of saying this is orbis and this is hytale they might not be in Orbis, but they're in Hytale. You know what I mean? So they're, it's easy to differentiate and yeah. explain crossovers. It's like, yeah, they're, they're in Hytale. It doesn't mean they're in Orbis. Yeah, so. Cool. Or, oh my god, a Stormtrooper is now in Orbis. You know. Whoa, just, Darth, that means Darth Vader is canon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the crossover is probably likely. Uh, I'm going to send you an image because this question is image related. Oop. Hold it up. Ah, this question. This From thing. Kazarov. What's up, Kazarov? Saying, just who or what is this? I'll leave it up to you to decide. It's a great question. Do you have it up um, on screen? Yeah, I have it up on screen. Looks like a Chork, but... I don't think a, it's Chork. I think it's a... Maybe a Goblin. I don't know. It looks like a Goblin done. I would say goblin, but not a hightail goblin. You know what I mean? Like in yeah, terms yeah, of yeah. in terms of actual um, fairy tales, it looks like a goblin, but it's not a it's not a hightail goblin. It looks no. like a. I can't think of a name, but it looks no, like, it, like an orc or a goblin would be like. But an orc, you have you know? both of those. Yeah, so in hightail. I mean, it's it's, it's a like very it's like an old... underground yeti. Yeah, it's like it's it's a really old sketch. But it comes from a what looks to be a goblin den. So I mean, it's just fan art, or not fan art, concept art. So yeah, I mean, realistically, is this monster even going to exist in the real game? Possibilities probably Let's leaning hope. towards no. Uh, or, it's probably it's definitely evolved into some actual. Monster. Yeah, if it is, it probably doesn't look like this at all anymore. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, uh, or like an orc yeti goblin combination would be my guess, but beats me mm -hmm. yeah i don't know um and i have one more last question for yeah. you chris for oh and it relates to something that the devs have not been doing recently talking cooking oh <laughs> cooking in high till i was wondering I like how food. you guys think cooking in high will work i'm hoping to have a farmer's delight approach and make different crafting stations for different cooking 
like one example in a past episode was the with the grill for kebabs uh right. i want a There's jar little barbecue i barbecue. want a jar for making jams and pickling or a blender for smoothies blender would need lightning element input Okay, that's got it's got power to it. Um, that's pretty cool. We've seen a pot, like some dude cooking in a pot. So there's clearly going to be stews or soups or something like that, which is cool. I mean, there's gonna, I mean, I'm sure you're gonna be able to kill a cow and get steak or beef. Same with chicken and pork and wh whatever mob just makes meat. You know, you eat meat out of. Yeah. You'll be able to cook all that. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be like Minecraft where it's just gonna be like a full ass chicken. And you eat that and you only gain three hunger bars back compared to like a slice of steak and you gain four. I, like, I don't think it's going to be like that, but yeah, I don't know how, how really how they're going to cook. Like, yeah, you're going to have vegetables. There's going to be fruits, which I'm sure you can just pick an apple from a tree and just muck it, you know, just eat it. Um, can you make special things like a golden carrot, golden apple? Will that be a feature? I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, I think there'll be a lot of different food options. Like, there's already kebabs, which we don't have in Minecraft. Kebabs are really cool. Uh, really yeah, cool but, stuff. like, the question specifically goes into different crafting stations. Or I guess, I mean, it just says, how do you guys think cooking So can you make a work? oven? But do you it's... think, yeah, there's going to be different stations needed to make different things? Because, I mean, you can't make a pie the same way you make a soup. Right, because in mean, Minecraft, you use yeah. a crafting table to make a pie and a cake. And then for a furnace, you cook literally everything, including ore. Right. So. And so, I mean, I know how large the appeal for farming and kitchen and baking and cooking and all of that is. Right. Uh, especially Will... towards the more cozy gamer aesthetic, towards the more casual gamer base. They eat that shit up. Yeah. Also, will food expire? I was wondering that because in that case you would have to there there could theoretically be a, a way to make food expire slower like a refrigerator or a freezer yeah, or salt yeah salt too um i mean we know there's what looks to be an air conditioning unit in hightail i only know that because i do that as a He's job the hvac guy i'm literally an hvac guy it, it, I mean, it, it looks exactly like an outdoor condenser i'm just saying i'm just saying it could just be a decoration block but um that that definitely helps um so will yeah expire? i mean i don't know in terms of just a raw gameplay feel i personally don't like the more hardcore style that's like arc, uh, mechanics right? of food expiring. Uh, of food expiring there being a thirst bar thank god there's not a thirst bar oh my in my god tail. have you ever played just mini games in minecraft that did have a thirst bar worst experiences ever no but like i oh, i have. would avoid them i don't i don't like thirst mechanics in games like it makes uh, it like, kind of annoying it runs out it's it's it was kind of like a i played like a uh a couple of uhc's like that there was a thirst bar also a hunger bar and bro we spawned in a desert and there was literally your i think it was your thirst bar like tripled down faster in the desert biome than like a normal biome which sucked yeah. It was it was the worst experience ever, and you couldn't even find water. It's just brutal. So yeah, please don't have a thirst mechanic. <laughs> yeah, please don't. I mean, we haven't seen anything in the hot bar. We haven't seen any signs of it, and so yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful for it. No bottled water, but I mean, we've eaten fish. I've, we've seen player. Or, well, no, no, I do, I do, I do hope that there's bottled water, and so you drink it out, and you, you're left with a plastic bottle, and you can throw it on the ground, and it just never despawns. Oh, littering? You want littering? Yeah, I want I want littering in Hytale. Uh, <laughs> I also crazy. want That's soda. Crazy. I Specifically, I also want soda cans in the game, but make them in a six-pack with those plastic rings to hold the bottles in. And so I can take the rings and throw them in the ocean. It's and then I want, a I, want, yeah, I want a mechanic where oh turtles God. can get stuck in them and they slowly lose health. And they're always on like half a heart, but they don't die until you get close to them and you're forced to watch it. Just saying, that's Ooh. an interesting mechanic. That's how to... you stop people from littering. There we go. Uh, so Team C's, Mr. Beast. Team C's, yes. <laughs> we, we save turtles in Hytale. Exactly. <laughs> we save turtles in real life by mistreating them in Hytale. Absolutely. To, to send a message. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I don't know if 
I mean, soda cans here now. I don't in Canada. I don't even know if they have those little ring things anymore. I mean, we really don't have any oceans to throw them in, honestly, unlike you in Florida. But we like Canada tries to like get rid of single use plastics. Like, they're trying to get rid of milk they're bags. They're trying to get rid of bags. Uh, milk bags, milk. dude. That's crazy. Like they already got rid of bags here. We don't really have plastic bags anymore. It's all reusable bags. We have plastic straws, which suck. They melt when you drink plastic drink. you mean paper straws yeah sorry paper straws they suck i don't you guys don't have that so I, one time i went to like went to the states I, like, i've uh, used like a paper straw here and there like certain places disgusting have them like rarely but it's Ew. mostly still everywhere plastic got, everywhere's straws, got paper straws here yeah paper straws worst things ever used like who who designed that i want to know i want to fight them like why would you ever make a paper straw i don't know I'm someone also like who slowly I don't like gulp down everything. I don't one. either. No, I, like, and I, it, I don't, if I don't finish drink, I'll take it with me. Yeah. If I take it with me, that straw is gone. Yeah, like today but then again, I... you can just drink it like out of the cup, which is not like you could. It's blown how, out of the water. The how sanitary are those so. restaurants? You know, like if you ever go to a restaurant, they give you a straw in your cup. Like, oh, never I don't know. know. That's that's not my. I, I've right. watched a lot of kitchen nightmares in my day. You know, I'm just saying. Um, not that every restaurant's like that, but today I got a Slurpee and a massive Slurpee. It was like a, they're doing it's 7-Eleven's doing a little special right now where it's like, bring any size cup you want and you pay like two bucks for any Slurpee. So me and my friends bought a massive cup, probably like bigger than my head. And we just filled up a Slurpee and they gave us one paper straw. It lasted like five minutes. It was very, one close. paper straw for this big of a Slurpee. <laughs> Dude, no, I'm serious. One paper straw. It was Crazy. devastating. Yeah. I mean, Slurpee is something you can't really drink out of no you need a straw for that you need a straw so it was it was definitely anyway good. we are yeah. now an environmentalist uh or anti-environmentalist podcast so <laughs> oh god <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this episode make sure you hit the subscribe button be subscriber 902 and we'll Let's see go. you in the next one peace out Goodbye.